let's try a new foundation so this is the nars light reflecting foundation it took me so long to get my hands on this um and i got the shade light three which is gobi this is actually not the shade i was originally gonna get i was originally gonna get montclair but when i looked at it in stores it was very warm tone and this one is more yellow tone so there it is i'm just gonna take it with the beauty blender and dab it on So there it is. I've done the bottom half of my face, like this part. Um, it's giving really light coverage. Um, kind of like a tint moisturizer right now. Like, I think it's a good shade. Okay, so there it is. Um, I did a very light layer, light coverage. Um, it's very shiny. I do notice that I have a matte primer on, but we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so there it is. Finished. I like it so far. So my first impression of this light reflecting foundation. Um, it's in my mind light to medium coverage. You maybe could build it up. I don't know. But on my skin anyway, it's light to medium coverage. Um, the shade match was very good. It hasn't oxidized yet, so maybe that's a win. Um, it applied really nicely with a beauty blender. Um it definitely is a little bit more glowy, I would say, because I do have a matte primer on. And I still feel like my skin has quite a bit of glow to it when I look at it. But like, pretty good. Obviously, it's not covering all of your texture and your acne. But it does do a pretty good job of making like an even tone over your face. So, so far I like it, but I'm going to have to keep playing around with it.